Hey YouTube, Mama D here. I, uh, I've been kind of waiting for all the, um, all the noise to die down now that the Pope has left the United States. Uh, I for one am glad he's gone. I'm so sick of not hearing about all the goo goo gaga stuff coming from people that just worship this man like he was Jesus but uh, I just uh, I just wanted to make this video it's going to be a little hard not to be sarcastic but I will do my very best keep in mind I'm still a human I'm still uh, being worked on by the Lord but uh, there's so many things that I don't understand how people can be so blind with this man and the adulation that they give this man now um, first I want to make a comment about um, about the astounding number of people that waited in lines to see uh, the Pope wherever he was appearing. I mean, I would have to say it may have been close to a million people altogether uh, that stood around waiting for him. Uh, to see him, to touch him, to, you know. I was reminded about some of the scriptures in the Bible where the people behaved the same way when they wanted to see the Christ come through, do a miracle healing, do something. Even the woman with the issue of blood where she thought that, you know, she just touched the hem of his garment as he walked by, that she would be healed. Well, you know, whether uh, people realized it or not, or maybe they just didn't care. Maybe my uh, comments are accurate, that they treat this man as if he was Jesus the Christ. Now, I know the papacy began way back hundreds of years ago and uh, if some of you will recall um, if you follow my videos where I gave you the story about that marine that went to go visit the chaplain when I was still in the core and uh, he was telling me about how great it was uh, to be a Christian because you know you can go out and sin and get forgiven and go out and sin again the following week and get forgiven and so on and so on. Now, um, it was during this time that uh, when I was still Catholic at the time when that chaplain used to say a lot of stuff to me and he was always pointing out what was wrong with the Catholic Church and because I was not a practicing Catholic and knew nothing about the Church but I was born into it uh, into Catholicism and so I didn't really know anything about the church but it was God used the arrogance of this military chaplain to get me to start studying on my own and doing research on my own because this man was infuriating me with a lot of the things that he was saying much like what I'm doing now to most of you who do not know uh, anything, any history, any uh, facts about Catholicism. Amen. So you're going to send me nasty emails or say nasty things and I'm expecting it and that's okay because you know I felt the same way when I first started to hear all the negativity about the Catholic Church. Amen. Now, uh, one of the things I learned way back then uh, was how 
the papacy began and I started going to the library and checking out books and reading and reading and learning everything, all, every bit of knowledge that I could get my hands on, I, you know, researched it. So I discovered how horrific these men, alleged men of God, which is what they were supposed to be, what they called themselves, how demonic these men were. They, it's just too much information to even put on this one video. If you really want to find out about the history of the first pope, second, and so on and so on, you have to go to the library and read a book about the papacy, amen, the Vatican, how it began, how they ran it, and all this stuff. And, and these popes were fathering children. And let me tell you, it was a real bitter time um, towards everything that I knew to be real. It was like my glass house that I had been living in all that time uh, was shattering. And that's the best way to put it. But my faith in God wasn't. I began to reason with myself. I had no one to discuss this with. And um, so I was on a learning journey on my own. I still prayed back then as... Um, as repetitive as prayer was for the Catholic Church, I did the best I could. And uh, my husband at the time, when I was married at that time, he was learning right along with me. He didn't know. He had been brought up Catholic as well. And he definitely wasn't a practicing Catholic. So, uh, But we were learning together. And uh, eventually... I uh, found a church where we started to go, him and I, and uh, I became friends with the, with the parish priest, and I would go to the rectory, and when I would read the Bible, I would make a list of questions that I wanted answers to, and I would go to the rectory, and we would sit there and talk for hours, no joke. We would talk for hours, and he would even say to me, I, I, I think I really, I really annoyed him, and he said, uh, why are you asking all these questions, or, or what's making you think of all these questions, and stuff like that, and, um, and of course, I, I, I always had a good reason, you know, that I wanted, I wanted answers, you know, so, um, Anyway, that's how everything began for me in my life, uh, my walk with God, and so fast forward to today, as I watched the, um, the Pope land wherever it was he landed, I was past astonished, I was shocked at the way the people were behaving around this man crying, going into convulsions, shaking, uh, bowing at him, kissing his hands, kissing whatever, his arm, whatever they got a hold of. I mean, I just thought it was ridiculous the way the people behaved like they were at a rock concert uh, getting to see their, their, their idol, their teen idol. And this is what I saw, and it was shocking to me. And I have to tell you that, um, uh, I lived in Chicago when, uh, our president was re-elected. No, I, I take that back, when he was elected the first time. I was living in Chicago at that time. And even though I was watching him on TV, I could feel the evil coming through that TV screen. Uh, there's just no words to describe 
when he was talking to the people there at Grant Park. I did not go to Grant Park that day, even though I lived very close to it at the time. I did not go. I did not vote for this man. And I saw the thousands of people, I think all of Chicago was there uh, at Grant Park that night. And it was the creepiest. It, 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 there's no words to describe how it felt watching this this man talking to the masses and it was the same feeling and the same way uh, it was when Pope what's his name um, Pope Francis uh, was speaking to the people here in the United States and uh, I was waiting to see, and I'm going to tell you for sure, I praise God that, um, you know, we were off of work because it was teacher conference day that Friday, and then we were off that Monday because it was the State Fair of Texas Day, so there was no school on those two days, so um, we were off, so I was able to um, watch the televised portion of, of the whole visit and let me tell you why I watched it because I wanted to see for myself and hear for myself anything that this man said that was whack so I wanted to um, I wanted to witness it firsthand and uh, I did so because I didn't want to hear second hand that he said this or did that and so on and so on. So uh, I sat through the whole thing except for the last day when uh, I think he was in Philadelphia. And he had that last church service. I, w I was sick of him by then so I didn't, I didn't want to see no more. And he has this voice that grinds my nerves. So, uh, uh, anyway, uh, so that was my weekend. Amen. So, now I want to talk about the things he spoke on. And one other thing that I want to remind you guys, and I believe I have the uh, video in my iShare box so that you can confirm what I'm saying to you is true that this man said that Jesus was not a spirit that Jesus was only a man he's telling the people that he was not the son of God that he was a man and nothing more now when he was going throughout his tour I was waiting for him to make the same claim to all these people that he did back in Italy well, you know, those words never came out of his mouth. But I'll tell you what this hypocrite did say. He preached scripture about following Jesus and what Jesus said and read scriptures uh, regarding uh, following Jesus Christ and so on and so on. He actually spoke the truth. Jesus is the Son of God. He is Lord. And we do follow Him and His ways and everything, which was completely and totally opposite of what He had said in the video that's in my R share box, where He was telling the people that Jesus was not a spirit, that He was not a deity, that He was simply a man. So... He never made that bold statement, which is clearly how the Pope actually felt in his heart. But those words never came out of his mouth once uh, while he was on tour in the United States. No, uh, he probably choked on his words as he was reading actual scripture and telling people, to follow Jesus the Christ and that you know uh, walk in his ways and anytime uh, he read a scripture re with Jesus the Christ in it and it and he probably 
gagged because he had to say that but uh, but he did he never made the bold statement that is in the video that I am referring to so um, he's a liar and a hypocrite so there now um, there were other things okay everyone that I'm aware of that's a watchman on the wall was expecting some type of reference to be made where um, he spoke of the aliens and he as as best as I can recall he never actually did that and uh, I'm thinking that's another um, that's another visit for sensationalism or another announcement for another point in time because he never made any reference to that revelation however there have been um, hints here and there that that message is still forthcoming I told you guys about the commercial or the uh, the PR video put out by the Vatican about the little demon spawn that's in school the kid that's an alien where the kids are making fun of him in the beginning and then later on they're playing with him and all that because and they try to put out the message that just because he's different you know you don't hate him and you don't treat him different and all that okay if this wasn't an agenda for a forthcoming alien uh, revelation then they would have just maybe used kids of different races kids of different religions where um, where it was evident that the that the kid was being ostracized from everyone else in the classroom or in the playground or wherever but they didn't do that they chose to use an actual alien kid amen now uh, another thing is that they were uh, going off to commercials and things and they talked about uh, excuse me they have talked about where the Vatican astron astronomer makes a reference to um, that pretty soon the world is going to um, let me see how did they word it they said that the world is going to know about aliens and that we're going to be I, I can't find my quote here let me see here in other words in other words that we're going to believe that we're going to start receiving salvation from aliens that they're not going to uh, uh, be following on the path where we're at now oh here it is his his words were soon we will be looking to aliens for our salvation so by saying things like this they're getting planting those little seeds in your head and in your mind that um, that they're going to be making an appearance soon he's not coming out and saying but uh, he, he kind of is the little in new windows here and there that they're going to be making an appearance soon to let it and and people are going to swallow the garbage that the the that god is not real that we came from the anunnaki which is which is the scuttle but they tried to put out a few years ago that the anunnaki made man that we were created by the uh the ancient Anunnaki and so this time when the aliens appear they're going to be performing all these miracles and plus they're going to have the big guy Pope Francis by their side um, what's the word um, confirming everything that they're saying is true why is because he is one of the beasts in the book of Revelation and I saw a video from some young guy I can't think of his name right now because I don't want to give him any glory he doesn't deserve it 
uh, from some young guy that was mad at the people that were saying that the Pope was one of the beasts in uh, the book of Revelation that we shouldn't call him that and we have no proof okay well you don't have no proof that he isn't okay we're going by the things that we are seeing uh, what is the courtroom called that um, circumstantial evidence so uh, if he's not he's not but if he is he is so everything is pointing to that direction that he is so this is what they were uh, saying about the appearance of the aliens and the fact that they're looking so hard out into the atmosphere outside of the earth through this Vatican telescope that they named Lucifer of all things they named that that thing Lucifer and uh, you know he also when he went to speak to the Congress I thought boy this guy has a lot of nerve going to a country that he doesn't even belong to and so on and so on dictating law dictating what he believed in his thoughts and that we should uh, practice those things here and one of those things was immigration and the other thing was the climate change okay let's let's uh, separate these two climate change okay you guys uh, in the other videos we've talked about this before climate change is not because of the pollution on the planet earth amen the glaciers are melting because we're going through a pole shift the glaciers are melting because the earth's core is heating up none of these things that are happening in the earth right now the dead fish the dead sea life the volcanic eruptions uh, the tsunamis, the hurry, the bad weather, all these things that are going on right now is not because of climate change. Don't be stupid. It is not being caused by air pollution. We are going to be in a pole shift. The Earth's axis are going to reverse just as they did in the days of Noah when the Earth was flooded it was because the earth flipped over amen the continents shifted shifted the earth was flooded everything moved around that's what happens when you have a pole shift amen it is not not because of any air pollution don't let these people scam you that's what they're doing they want you to pay for uh air um, more taxes and everything like that and uh, they're trying to tax the heck out of everybody you know if they can make something up and you believe it uh, you know why not make them richer you know I, I don't even know why they bother they take what they want anyway but um, this is what is going on there is no climate change now i wonder why the french prime minister declared that there were 500 days to climate change maybe he wasn't referring to um the weather maybe he was referring to that uh that meteor that isn't coming that some debunkers like to talk about that we're not going to hit get hit with a meteor even though there's scripture that says we are uh, that say there's not going to be a pole shift even though scripture says there is uh, what is problem with a lot of these people that go around trying to debunk videos is that they got nothing better to do they don't have a job they live at home they sit in front of the computer all day long and have nothing better to do you know read your bible let's start with that okay and I'm not talking about you know taking one scripture here and then looking at a video and say well that's not true as as far as false prophets go yes there are a lot of false prophets out there 
but those that are coming on YouTube are not all false prophets. Some are, but all of them are not. You know, in the book of Joel, it says in the end times, his sons and daughters would prophesy. The Lord would give them that spirit. And he is doing that now. Amen. Excuse me. So it's getting dry. <coughs> so these guys are saying these are the ones that uh, I'm talking about um, like some oh I'm not going to name any names I'm not you know then people are going to be heading to their uh, websites I'm not going to do that I'm not going to give them any numbers so uh, I'm not going to give them any publicity but uh, they're young guys they're all young guys probably between 20 and 25 maybe 30 who really lived a long life and know everything there is to know about the world, right? Now, um, these are people also that are newborn believers and hear a few scriptures and have not read the Bible, have not been around a while, are not seasoned veterans. But they learn a little bit and they run with it, especially when they follow somebody like that wacko Pastor Anderson somewhere in uh, New Mexico, I think it is. New Mexico or Arizona. Uh, he's really whacked, but he's got a little church and people follow him. They believe this guy. And uh, But these young guys that come out trying to debunk everybody, let me tell you something about prophecy. All throughout the Bible there are scriptures with prophecy in them some of these prophecies are hundreds of years old hundreds and they didn't happen overnight they didn't happen in one month two months and you got these young idiot debunkers running around uh, writing to all these people, oh, this didn't happen on that day, or oh, what happened with the Shemitah, or oh, what happened with, um, what's that other one? Um, what happened with CERN? The world didn't blow up. You know, you're a false prophet. And they had this one girl on one channel. My gosh, the, the poor girl was in tears because the, she never did a date set thing but she uh, had talked about something that that could happen at a certain time and uh, but she didn't give a date you know she was just talking about it and they really ragged her down and I thought it was horrible it was horrible and they were saying how they were debunking her and all that yeah, that is the stupidest word I ever heard debunking where do you guys get this stuff you make it up as you go along I don't know about that but uh, she was very upset and, and I know she was a good person. She's been on the channel for a while. And, uh, you know, I get some crazies out there too. But you know what? Whatever. Whatever. You know? You can tell me all that stuff from hell, okay? Because uh, I'm not going to be there. But you guys can discuss it amongst yourself. That's all I have to say. Because... If you're going around being nasty like you're being and you know and then you write all these nasty things to the people trying to keep believers informed and then you know uh, we dish it back oh why are Christians so mean oh you're not a Christian you're a devil you're a witch you're a false prophet and blah 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 you know what because people phonies and hypocrites that do all these things they want to be the one that's ragging on you bringing you down calling you names and doing all these things and then when you give it back to them you know you're a horrible person but they don't look in the mirror and see all the venom that they're spewing out at everybody who's trying to warn everyone and tell them look this is what's coming 
I heard from the Lord. This is going to go down. And they call you every name in the book. Throw every it's it's like the the witch hunt in the Salem days. Amen. Now I don't even answer those people anymore. You know, I you know, if you're gonna dish it out, you're gonna get it back. If you catch me on a bad day, you're going to get it back. And, you know, you want to call me mean or whatever, fine. I'm just as human as you are. And I can only take so much junk and so much poisonous darts coming from the little spawns of Satan spread out the YouTube community. Amen. Now, I've just resigned to just trashing your comment and blocking you from the channel so that you know ahead of time you know you hear a little bit of a video and then you just close it out you don't see the rest you don't hear the rest there's people out there that create uh, YouTube channels they have four or five different channels they make up a name and they create channels just so that they can uh, spout off their venom at, uh, at people when uh, they, they're cowards and they don't have the uh, they don't have the courage to put their face out there and really talk to you with their name or with a video like I'm doing to you right now no they hide behind the keyboard you know they put little pho phony avatars under their fake name and on their fake channel with their fake numbers and you know and they and they do all these uh, things that a coward would do because that's what they are and a lot of times you can kind of tell who those things are coming from if it's somebody you used to know that follow the same guidelines and characteristics of people you used to know amen now um so i just block you i just i'm not even gonna waste my time with you anymore i'm not gonna answer you i'm gonna block you and that's it i'm not even gonna bother with you and i recommend that you guys that get emails like this from trash folk trash christians they're not real just block them don't don't waste your time reading that verbal abuse that they like to put out there and then they claim that you're a mean Christian forget that they're just demonic okay now I don't know why I got off on that because I was thinking of that poor girl so let's get back to the Pope here and uh, somebody needed to hear that that you know I just had to put that out there okay now we're talking about the ETs that's what we were doing now, uh, I do believe that the Vatican and the news media is getting the world ready by planting little seeds out there of what is forthcoming from the Vatican. We told you about the little PR promo the Vatican put out there, uh, the little commercials like from Progressive and the, the, um, well, the, Oh, what do you call that thing? Super Bowl? The Super Bowl where they did that commercial about, you know, God's batteries running out and everything going whack. No, uh, they, they've been doing stuff like this. Uh, showing the world's ending, the aliens are coming. All these alien movies, Interstellar, Elysium. This, now this thing with... Mars. That's where that's where we're at now. Recently, there's been a lot of attention about how they have discovered water on Mars. Okay. In my opinion, this is old news to NASA. This is this is stuff they're revealing now, but this is stuff they've known for quite some time. And. Uh, I think it was today, actually, when I was watching the news, because I'm always watching the news to keep track of these people and what they're doing. Uh, today, I believe, I heard them say, they were talking about the water on Mars, 
and then the girl made a statement and she thought it was funny but um, I don't know if it was impromptu or if it was scripted she uh, talked about the water on Mars and then she says before you know it we're going to get word about actual aliens living on Mars and then she laughed and um, then she went on to another story and I thought there it is there it is they're uh, making those little innuendos little by little easing into the minds of the people of earth about aliens making their appearance soon which I do believe it will be soon now uh, so little by little they're letting water uh, seep through the cracks in the dam and before you know it it's going to burst wide open amen now uh, see what else did he talk about oh immigration he talked about how um, he was a, a migrant himself etc etc uh, you know I have I got so bored hearing the same thing over and over again but um, long story short he was an immigrant we should let people in etc etc and you know the Vatican as big as it is they only let two families in why is that why is the whole world supposed to let thousands and thousands of refugees in and they only let two families into the Vatican now I don't think that's fair do you and the Vatican wasn't blown up like New York's Twin Towers were so why should we let terrorists into the country as refugees we don't know who's who we don't know if they're terrorists we don't know most of these people that I have seen following the news it looks to me like 80 percent 90 percent of these refugees are young guys the age a soldier would be the age that the terrorists are that we've been seeing on TV how do we know these people are not terrorists I'm sorry that is how I feel we don't need to let them in that is my opinion and I stand by it I don't care who likes it that's how I feel all I can see is that um, the big Trojan horse in that mythology story where they gave the Trojan horse as a gift and they waited till everybody was asleep and then they got out of the Trojan horse and they killed everyone everyone and they conquered the city like that if you don't know the story of the Trojan horse Google it I think you'll enjoy it and you'll see what I am talking about okay he talked about climate change the immigrants he talked about um, following the Lord he didn't really talk about gays like I thought he was going to he wasn't gonna he didn't do that and uh, he didn't talk about ETs like I thought he was going to. He didn't do that. But uh, every now and then the, ca the camera did catch a glimpse of him when he wasn't uh, smiling or, or praying. And you would catch a look that I think showed his true colors but uh, you would have to see the whole thing to uh, really be able to comment on that and that those were just things that um, that I observed and I for one am glad that he's gone all the people were acting so giddy and foolish and stupid and uh, it was like watching a bunch of teens a bunch of uh, what do they call those people uh, that's been so long um, the ones that follow the band around uh, groupies is it groupies I'm not sure well anyway all these news reporters acted like groupies 
following him around and then going on the plane with him and they were like uh, tongue tied and giggly and I, I thought oh my god this is just horrible it was horrible and truly it was disgusting that all these people were acting like this man was Jesus the Christ and I tell you what um Oh, there's one thing I forgot. Um, when they were at Ground Zero, and they were having, um, I think it was a mini service or presentation, and they had one person of every faith up on the stage, and this is one thing that the Pope talked about a lot, was about the new one religion. So... I think the introduction of the one religion, one world religion, it was being introduced at this time because he did talk about that and he had persons, one person from every faith, uh, to my knowledge, except for a Christian. He didn't have a Christian up there. He didn't have a Christian pastor up there. He may, have, he may have had a Catholic pastor up there, but I saw no Christian pastor up there. You know, I got to tell you, I was, <laughs> I, was uh, I was so sorry. <laughs> I said I wasn't going to be sarcastic, but uh, <laughs> I really expected to see Rick Warren sitting up there as fake as he is or Kenneth Copeland or, or uh, who's that other guy I, I can't think of the other I can see his face but I can't I can't think of his name but there were no Christian pastors up on that stage which I was really surprised because you see a lot of these Christian pastors oh Joel Osteen that's what I was gonna I didn't see him sitting up there with all all this uh, New World Order religion up there on that stage. I would have thought him and Victoria would have been up there, you know, where she's telling the Pope, you know, that uh, it's all who you are. And uh, anyway, you guys know what I'm talking about. No Christian pastor was sitting on that stage. Just wanted you guys to know that and uh, so anyway that's it for this video this video is mostly uh, commentary about the Pope's visit and uh, there's some other stuff that I want to talk about so uh, it is Wednesday night I am kind of tired so if my eyes look lazy I'm, I'm, I'm getting sleepy but I wanted to uh, get a couple of these videos I don't know how well I'm going to do with the next video but this is the one of the first videos that I wanted to get out there to you guys because I really didn't uh, get to do it over the over the weekend because I was keeping track of his visit and watching all the the circus atmosphere that was going on and it was just unbelievable and there were moments in time while I was watching the circus going on and how they were just adulation and glorifying this this false prophet that I would just start to cry it just made me cry it brought me to tears the way they were treating a man and they don't react the same way with Jesus the Christ the true Christ. Amen. And it's making me sad right now. And I thought of the scripture where it says that the, even the very elect will be deceived. There's going to be a lot of Catholics going to hell, unfortunately. 
because this man is going to be a part of the big deception. And these people, these blind sheep that he's leading to the slaughter are going to believe whatever he says when the time comes to take the mark of the beast and to follow the Antichrist. Amen. It's very sad, very sad indeed. And if it breaks my heart because there's nothing you can say to these people that they will believe. Imagine how the Lord feels. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.